Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. This is my crazy bro, Governor Ralph Torres of the CNMI. If you've been following along, you know we are in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. We're out on a crazy remote expedition, and this island, this is called Mob. Yesterday, we caught a lot of yellowfin tuna, my biggest job fish I've ever seen in my whole life. We caught some tunas on the poppers, all kinds of good stuff. But today, we're after dog tooth tunas. Our setup is a Talica 50. This is a Shimano Talus rod. And that's a Nomad diving lure. Yesterday, this thing was brand new. It got absolutely destroyed. Gotta be ready for a blue marlin also. Andy Moise. There you go. Hey, let the good times roll. Hey James, go ahead and drop the back lure. Drop the back lure out first. Yeah, that's long enough. So, we had a bite, fish made a big run, we pulled him off. I was reeling the lure in to check it and got nailed right behind the boat. And this is a man-sized fish here. Look at that. Got a big, beautiful coconut trees on a green slope. That's the eastern slope of Mog. What is it? Dolphins. Porpoises? Porpoises, yeah. yeah. Pretty rough today. Probably about four to six out here. Makes it a little awkward for fishing, but <laughs> I don't care if I had to fish in a canoe. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> That dolphin's trying to say hello. James, will you get the gaff for me, please? I just can't believe this fish ate while I was reeling the bait in. Okay, I see color. Oh, nice fish. Nice. Doggy, look at this, nice one. Look at that, y'all. Swing and a miss. Yeah, look at this. Hold this rod for a sec. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look at this, y'all. Nice. Yes, yeah. That's the first time that lure's ever been pulled. It's a uh, Nomad DTX 200. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Woo! What a fish, man. What a fish. Beautiful. 
Ice is the number one feature here. Hey, someone clear this right line here. That's all you gotta do, just hold it right there. Oh, Wahoo! Wahoo! Nice! Hey, I'll take that. Got a Wahoo. Oop, you gotta be real careful with these double hooks. He got a mouthful of it also. Oh man. Same exact lure that I just got my dog tooth on. There you go. Wahoo. Over the rail and in the pail. Would this be good shit or good trolling for y'all? <laughs> Those first two fish were good already. Slow, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Right, a little slow, but you know, we'll get there. We're making a day out of it. Making a day out of it. I'll take slow day like this any day. Keep, keep turning. Yeah, that's a big doggy. I got one right here too. Got him. Yes! Yeah. Hey Rob, mine's right here. Hold on, watch out. Got another dog Look at thing. that doggy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sure got half a bit. Look at this, you guys! Woo! Woo! Uh, <laughs> holy cow, man. Look at this. What's up, Jess? What's up, Get that? <laughs> this is a day I'll never forget, and you know what? Oh, we're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Big doggy. Yeah. Big one. Right, right. Oh, the sharks just ate him right there. Yeah, hand me the little gap. Look at that. Sharks just munched on him. So, while we were just fighting that last dog tooth tuna, big blue marlin came up and started eating tunas right behind the boat. So we're gonna put out some bigger baits, see what we can't do. This is where we're going to get our time. That's a blue marlin bite. Start clearing these rods. Hey, you're 
left. I don't know what it is, but it definitely looked like they're yeah, falling. Just pulled him off. There he goes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There he goes. Pulled him off. Yeah, he's off. Yeah. Hey, you guys. It is 4th of July. And we're getting ready to make some food, y'all. So, all the fish that we caught on that trip being sent back to Saipan. And we're going to take it to the hospital. And we're going to feed the first responders. And we're going to feed the people who need it, the elders. We kept some for us, but almost all of it's going back there. Come back here and just cut up there where it's not chewed up from the shark. Follow this right back. And then just take your knife and go just above that backbone, just like that. Just like that. Roll this. Look at that beautiful piece of meat. Okay, this is belly. We're gonna cut that. All of this is gonna go in a traditional, traditional smoker. Come up here. Bring this here and just flip your meat. Okay. Put that out just like that. There you go. Then this is called the collar. We want that collar. Tranquilo. There you go. Break this down. Just like that. That's called the collar. Oop. You can come in here. Sorry about the wind, you guys. It's very windy. That's the old heart. That heart sits right up in the collar there. with this. Anyone who's ever smoked meat knows that that collar is one of the best pieces. See them teeth? That's why it's called a dog tooth tuna. Cannibalistic predator. Unbelievable fish. What, um, I've never done this. There's a traditional smoker. How big do we need to make these pieces of fish? Just uh, make a steak or two. With the skin on or off? Yeah. With the skin on? Here we go. Perfect? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So what's next? Now what do we do? Uh, we have to put the uh, seasoning. Okay, season it all up. Yeah. You know what that comes down to, but bust out some Everglades. We're gonna start off with Everglades original. Yeah. And you might think I'm crazy, but everyone out here loves Everglades. Then, a friend of mine, Seth McGinn, who owns Can Cooker, he also makes this all-purpose seasoning by Can Cooker. It's really nice. Um, and we'll just, So we'll have like two different seasonings on it. Oh, oh yeah. 
Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that head don't stop looking at me crazy, I'm gonna throw it on the dryer. No, no, no. This goes in the freezer. This goes in the freezer for soup. But uh, let's do this one. Let's go. Come on, grab your fish. Now I've been watching them cook on this and have not been here yet, so this is exciting to me. So now that it's on the smoker, the guys are going to steal some charcoal from the pig roast, start the fire right here, and then slowly but surely, the magic will happen. And when it's all done, it's going to be a love potion like you ain't never had before. Got his coals. Just going to start a gentle little fire here. And what kind of wood is that? Tongan tongan. Tongan tongan tree. Tongan tongan tree. Tongan tongan tree. We use that all the time back home. <laughs> so now that they have their fires going, the key is using coconut with the coconut meat in it. Just like this. Now that one was a little old and moldy, so they did not use that. But those two are perfect. Fire's going. Go ahead, guys. This lid goes on. If you look, there's just a little gap under there. And that's where everything goes. Okay, what's your name again? Chris? What's your last name? Kaepernick. How do you spell that? K A I P E. Okay, you on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Dude, we're gonna hit you up on Instagram. I'm gonna follow him on. Hey, are you on Instagram? Uh, yeah. Come over here. This is what I've come to believe the Chamorros and the Rafal Wash are the best people I've ever been around in my life, and I've been around a lot of people. You guys are amazing. What's your Instagram? Schneider. Lonzo. We'll get okay. Listen, I'm gonna have everybody's Instagram in the in the links below. Go check them out. Leave them a comment. Tell them that you watched them on Deer Meat for dinner, because this is what it's all about. We caught this fish about 116 miles north of here, iced it down, brought it back. Now we're enjoying the Fourth of July together. Uh, we've got a we've got a pig roasting. We're cooking dog tooth tuna. I'm getting ready to cook Oto Oto. We call it Oto Oto in Fiji. It's a job fish. You call it a highway. And then tonight I'm going to make fresh ahi tuna, yellowfin tuna. Nice. So, and then we're going to put the flag up, we're going to shoot some fireworks, and we're going to party like it's 1999. <laughs> but you guys, it has been 24 hours. Let's see how our fish looks. Oh my god. Look at the color in that. Yep. Can you eat it just like this right yeah, now? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you go. Look at that. Hey. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. Juicy, juicy, it's not dry. Mm hmm Yeah. That is so amazingly full of flavor. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, like stiff outside, moist inside. Yeah. Mmm. Dude. Yes, yes. My man. These people are awesome. This dryer. That's the hog that we cooked last night. That's all the scraps from the hog drying out. Nothing goes to waste. Yeah. Belly meat 
the backbone, the collar, all the meat. Yep. Mm. Hey, I gotta come around here and tell y'all something. Thank you for making this possible. Deer Meat for Dinner has grown the way it has because of you. Telling friends, telling family, just saying, hey, check this channel out. Sharing our stuff on your social media. I hope you've enjoyed this journey that we've been on. We've got lots, lots, lots more to do. But thank you for following along. I love you guys. That's all I've got for you today. Take care. God bless. And we gone.